Question number 20 is to recognize and solve inverse and combined variation equation. It is mainly real world problems over here and understanding and reasoning problems. Here we have a problem on communications. On average, the number of calls C each day between two cities is directly proportional to the product of the population P1 and P2. Let's write this over here. Oh, sorry, they have already given the formula. Anyways, see the call C is proportional. That means C is proportional to P1, P2 of the cities and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Inversely proportional to the square of distance. That's the thing. And that is C. That is given over here. C equals p1 p2 by d squared if it's proportional when you make it equal there will be a constant of proportionality k so that has been added use the function and the population and distance information in the table even this is not given you can write it out okay but generally this will be given now they have told for birmingham till birmingham there's no distance it's the same city but the population is given over here birmingham to indianapolis they have given the population of Indianapolis over here and then the distance between these two. Same way from Birmingham to Thalassie, it's over here the distance and the population and to San Francisco over here the distance and the population. See this will be, depends on which city they are asking. They have asked us to find the average number of daily calls, sorry the average number of daily calls between Indianapolis and Birmingham is 16,000. So Birmingham over here, Indianapolis over here. That is 16,000. Find the value of K around to the nearest 100. We need to find the K value. K value is constant for this, uh, you know, all the time. So let's just solve it up. Let me see. They have told what? Indianapolis and Birmingham. This one we can use just this thing. Or you can use Indianapolis and Birmingham like this also. It's fine. Now, the value C is equal to K P1 P2 divided by D squared. What is the C value given over here? 16,000. That is equal to K is unknown. I will take first as Indianapolis. The population is 872,680. And what is P2? That's Birmingham population. 210,710 divided by what is D squared? The distance between those two is... 479 sorry 479 whole squared now to find k keep k over here and take everything to the other side it will be 16000 multiplied by 479 the whole square divided by 872680 multiplied with 210710 just put in the calculator you'll get the answer we will do it now so here, make it fractions, 16,000 multiplied with 479 squared. And over here, divided by 872680 multiplied with 210710. Okay, I hope all the values are correct. The answer is, it's 1.9 and it's 2 into 10 to the power minus 3. Okay, K is... 2 into 10 to the power minus 3. Generally, they don't, don't write it in terms like this. They might write it in decimal. This is also correct if it's written. Or they, we can write this as, take the decimal over here, uh, 1, 2, 3. Okay, it's 0 0.002. Let me just do 1, 2, 3. Yes, that's the correct answer. It's 0 0.002. Let's just check. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It is 0. I'm let me just check over here. I just realized I'd written the question wrong. It's 16,000. I guess many of you have guessed it already. It's 16,000 here. Now I'm going to get the answer 0 0.02, okay? 0 0.02, not two zeros. And it should be minus 2. If it was minus 2, it'll be 0 0.02. Okay, this is the answer. But now in our question, in our sorry, solution set, generally they'll give you in terms of 0 0.02. So let's take that one. That's the answer. Now, this value k will be used for the other places, for the other problems. Now, they are told to find the average number of daily calls between Tallahassee 
and each other city listed. Now, what this means is you need to find the C, the same formula C equals K P1 P2 divided by D squared, right? You need to find C with this, this, this. Sorry, this is Talaisi only. This, all these three Birmingham, Indianapolis, and San Francisco. C value is unknown. Other values will be known for the first one. Let, let's consider this to be one. What happens? Birmingham, K is 0 0.02, the Birmingham population. I'll write Telesi population first. It's 191049. And then Birmingham is 210710 divided by, what is the distance between these two? It is 301 squared. Put it in the calculator, you'll get the answer. Next one. Same thing, again it will be 0 0.02 multiplied by 191049, but this time let's take Indianapolis. So what is the population over here? It will be 872680 divided by the distance between Tallahassee and Indianapolis is 778, the old square. So this is it, this will be continued, put in the calculator, you'll get the answer. It's pretty straightforward. You can see here, this is between... Tallahassee and uh, which is considered the population of Birmingham. So this Birmingham population, Tallahassee population, the K value and the distance is 310 whole squared. Put in calculator, you'll get around 8,886 calls. Same thing with the next uh, city that is over here, I think, so Indianapolis. So the distance is over here. Everything, just substitution in this formula, you get 5,509 calls. And then you can see over here, Last one about San, San Francisco. The distance is this. The population is this. And that's the answer. That's easy. And could you use this formula to find the average phone calls made between within a city? Okay, what they're asking is within one city, like from Birmingham to Birmingham. It's not possible because the distance is not there, right? It's the same city. Distance is zero. When you divide anything by zero or zero squared, it's not defined, right? So you cannot because the average value C over here, the formula here, what happens? It will be zero squared. So that's undefined. So no, it's not possible. That's the answers. So these are the all three answers. Now then we have one more problem. Imagine about investing. You decide to invest 10% of your before tax income in a retirement fund. So your employee employer deducts this money from your weekly paycheck. Write an equation to represent the amount of deducted from you uh, from your paycheck d okay d is sorry d is the paycheck for investment in your retirement fund for a week during which you worked h hours and you're paid r dollars an hour okay i will just explain what this means first because there's lots of words over here see this is about investment you are investing 10 percent of your salary but over here you're getting paid every week generally in europe and us you get a paycheck salary for every week. So the thing is, every week's paycheck, you will you'll get based on the number of hours you work. So what happens is, depending on the number of hours you work, you get paid. In that, they are going to take 10% and they'll invest in a retirement fund. So you'll have it in the future. It's like a saving. So this needs to be written in terms of a, uh, you know equation. Now, it's very simple. It's a joint equation because there are two factors over here, hours and dollars. So now we use, look at this. The number of deduction, like what is deducted, how much is deducted? That is, over here, deduction will be 10% of what? The number of hours you work and the money you earn, HR. That is number of hours you work and the money you earn. That's the thing. So deduction is equal to 10% is 0.1 HR. That's the answer. Now, is your equation a direct joint or inverse? It is It is a direct, but it's two uh, variations. So it's joint. What is the difference between this? Direct means there must be one only. If there was only one variable over here, both the sides, X equal Y or X equal something like that, then it is direct. But here we have two, so it's called joint. It will be the joint one. Inverse means it will be division. And if you earn 19.5 hours and work 36 hours last week, explain how much uh, um, out of mind the amount deducted from your last week retirement fund. Now, over here, just substitute. 
this is 0 0.1 hours is how much your work 36 and over here it's 19.5 just solve it up you will get the answer put in the calculator you'll get the answer just substitution see it's 70.2 this is how we can solve it up and another reasoning problem here find the error Jamil and Savana are setting up a proportion to begin solving the combined variation in which z varies directly as x so z is we'll just write equal to because there will be a proportionality uh, constant is directly varying to x okay and z varies inversely to y divided by y who has set up the correct proportion okay now this now you can see this is 1 1 1 1 same way z2 equals k2 by x2 divided by y2 now let's solve it over here we need to check who has done it correctly we need to solve for k okay this k now we don't write k as k1 and k2 sorry because k is the same constant of proportionality will be same throughout k leave it over here take y to the other side will be z1 y1 by x1 equals k and same thing will be for 2 z1 y1 yes this is correct okay you can see here instead of dividing x and multiplying y this has been wrong so this is wrong so Jamil has done it correctly so Jamil has set up the correct uh, proportion Savannah multiplied we should have she should have divided she has multiplied and we should, should have divided she has multiplied she has done wrong that's it very simple over here now persevere if a varies inversely as b c varies jointly as b okay let's just write it there are too many things a varies inversely as b and over here they have told c varies jointly as b that means c and b are joint over here and b okay c varies joint okay no no sorry I'll write it like this. C varies jointly as B and F. F varies directly as G. How are A and G related? Okay. So these are the parts of the proportionality. Now here, let's try to combine them. A is inversely, but C is proportional over here, right? So what you can do is, you can take this to the other side f to the other side and substitute b over here basically what happens because we need f that's why a equals 1 by b right now what is b equal to b equals c by f i know that there must be k over here but this is just for understanding so you can write a proportionality symbol rather than equal to this this is technically correct now here b will be that side proportional to c and f so here what happens is a is proportional to 1 by c 1 by c and f goes up okay c by f this is the thing and now what is f and g proportional they are same so a must be proportional to g so they must uh, directly vary so that is the answer I hope this is clear we are trying to substitute one over the other and other and now finally what did we get a is directly proportional to f and f is directly proportional to g so they must they are basically like equated so you can replace this a should directly proportional uh, be directly proportional or directly varying with f so a g so they both are the same and c is not at all us so you can ignore that so a and g are directly related now here they have asked to explain something explain why some mathematicians consider every joint variation as combined but not every combined as joint okay this is simple what exactly is joint variation now if i have a proportional to x and y this is a joint variation this is basically a direct a proportional to x is direct a proportional to y is direct you're joining these two a proportional to x y joint but all the joint must be directly varying. Now, what is combined? Combined can have inverse. A proportional to 1 by B. So, this over here and A proportional to C by B. This cannot be joined. This is combined or inverse. Because inverse and direct, see over here. Sorry. Inverse and direct are they together. So, it is combined rather than joined. 
mathematician can consider every joint variation as combined because when there are two or more you call it combined that's fine because there are two combined direct variations only in combined in sorry joint there are two direct combined variations however in combined variation you have a combination of direct and inverse so it cannot be joint that's it are we at the same thing here you can see there are two direct variation this can be called combined because there are two direct variations but here there are two variations yes it's combined but it's one is joint uh, sorry one is direct one is inverse so you can't tell joint joint is only when there are two direct ones it should not be inverse that's the reason all come under combined variation but not all come under joint and that's the thing and describe three real life quantities that vary jointly with each other now since they are mentioned jointly it must be proportional you can consider this as calories or food food or nutrition is proportional to height in in this is only for youth you know when you're very young younger stage of life maybe less than 18 years something height and weight okay that, that can be proportional you can write anything three real life what have they written over here okay it's about force mass and acceleration so this is newton's acceleration due to gravity you know that force is equal to mass into acceleration these both are uh, combined variation uh, this is joint variation because they're directly varying don't write inverse you can't do that you jointly means both must be direct variation like this and then over here determine the types of variation for which zero cannot be one of the values explain your reasoning now you might have seen direct variations so a is proportional to x and y apply zero it's fine no problem but now inverse variation okay if we take, make it equal to k divided by x, can x be 0? If x is 0 here, this is not defined. This is a problem. So remember, there can't be inverse variation. In a sense, there can't be 0 in inverse variation. Okay. So since division by 0 is undefined, the inverse variation functions or sometimes of combined cannot have the value 0 in the domain. That's the only thing. And that's the end of this uh, particular question, question number 20. It's mainly reasoning question. So try to understand this thoroughly and then try to answer it. Understand what exactly direct variation, inverse variation, joint and combined variation means and then it will be very easy.